So one of the questions that uh, comes up every now and then is how can I build without using Ninja or Jack? And I know I'm kind of interrupting right in the middle of my um, upgrading uh, the Life XL uh, series here, but I couldn't think of a good place of where to put this in. And since we're currently working on Nugget and Oreo, I thought that this was a great place to uh, to stop and try to answer this question. So. Um, the question once again is how do you compile Android without using Ninja or Jack? And you can see here that uh, I've started uh, I've started uh, a terminal here and I'm trying to uh, build the uh, JLeby uh, which I've been corrected on apparently is not Yalabi it is JLeby which is a type of uh, a very sweet dessert so hopefully I'll get to try that out someday uh, if I'm ever over in India. Uh, but uh, so I've got this building and what uh, what we hopefully will see in a moment is that it's going to be building of course with Ninja and Jack and it's checking our build tool versions and we'll see that start very shortly. <clears throat> so there's uh, if you look online there's several different uh, things saying how you can and cannot uh, enable or disable both Ninja and Jack and so we're going to look at a couple of those things uh, as we go through this video but uh, one of the questions you might be wondering is why would you want to disable Ninja or Jack well that's a good question um, I don't have a really definitive answer for you. Uh, some thoughts as if you're having a problem with Ninja or Jack. Uh, for instance, if your Jack is failing because it's taking too much memory, there's actually really good uh, settings that you can set for Jack that will help your Jack build correctly. But if you're tired of dealing with that, you could just disable it entirely. And the same thing with Ninja. Now you notice with Ninja though, you get this nice, uh, you know, um, progress uh, going on and uh, a pretty nice uh, setup here so so we see starting build with ninja and then ninja entering directory and it's building all these things and then later on it'll get to the part about uh, using jack so I'm going to cancel this build build stop interrupted by user and we're going to look at how first how can we disable ninja so the best way is to export uh, I think the command is use ninja um, equals false. I can't remember if it's false or disabled. We'll try false and then see how that goes. So export uh, use underscore ninja equals false and we'll see if that's the right one here. Should take it just a second to catch up with us. And of course, the uh, the key word or phrase that we're looking for is uh, start ninja should obviously not start, and then it should uh, start using make instead. Notice this definitely looks a lot different than it did before. Uh, we scroll up and we see that after the uh, de declaration of what we're going to build, it's checking, finding, and then it does all things it's supposed to do and here we see uh, definitely a difference in the way that it is going about looking for everything um, for one it's not putting it all on one line it is uh, you know writing separate lines like we're used to seeing in Marshmallow and Down which um, you know didn't use Ninja before now Ninja has a lot of really great features so I'm definitely not bashing on Ninja or saying that you should disable it uh, but I definitely want to uh, point out uh, how it can be disabled if that's something you'd like to do. And we're just waiting so we can see the build start. Now one of the problems with disabling uh, one of the major tools that are used for building something is sometimes then things that it would normally do don't get done and so that is something to consider um, but in theory you can build the entirety of Android without using Ninja and uh, in theory without using Jack as well. Once again we're just waiting for it to get started here
all of the stuff that's output that generally Ninja would be hiding from us. Uh, we're just waiting as it uh, displays it now for us here. And there we go. So you can see that now it's going to start going through uh, the make process and it is including all the files. Now once again this normally would just be ex uh, be displayed on the screen but it would be uh, one line for Ninja and it just keeps overwriting that line unless there's an error or uh, a warning or some kind of information that it has to put to standard out it actually just hides all of this by putting it in one line and just rewriting that one line over and over and over again so here you can see it's definitely building some stuff and it's going along without using ninja so we can stop the process again and we can um, take our export ninja export use underscore ninja and say true uh, if we'd like and that will fix our problem that we just did of disabling ninja now if you want you can add this to your bash rc file um, just like we did with uh, adding our path to the bash rc file and some of our other videos um, but that you can add this line uh, as false to your bash rc and we'll just go ahead and um, uh, We'll show our bash RC. We'll put that in cat home. Well, this this terminal has got a lot of changes here. Let's do a new tab, and we'll just go home, and we'll say ls dash lah, and you can see our bash RC. And if we cat bash RC. You can see that we put this export lc underscore all equals c at the end, and we could just do the same thing uh, with our, you know, editing and put in our export. Um, well, that's not our list here. Our export use ninja false into that as well. Let me make this a little bigger. There we go. Export use ninja equals false. And put that into our bash RC just at the end of the file. And then you won't have to type it every time. So that's something to consider if you do want to disable using ninja. That's the easy, simple way to do it. Um, we've already exported this as true. So now if we try to build, we're, it's going to be different than we just saw before where it is doing them all without ninja one line at a time using make and now it's going to go back to the way we're used to seeing it uh, in nugget and above uh, with having uh, the ninja style with just one line and ninja is doing all the building now we talked about disabling ninja and see there we have our ninja build going starting build with ninja and it starts doing what it's supposed to do and it's the same lines that we saw up here just um, not spread out but put on the same line and then ninja is, is the controlling authority of that now the other one that we wanted to talk about was how do we disable jack so this is the one that gets a little tricky um, the way that Jack is called is through several different files and so if you want to change how you're going to use Jack uh, you're going to have to make uh, several small edits to your uh, like your device tree so for instance we go to um, Jalebi and uh, look at the uh, the tree here and we can go to our board config dot make we can open that up <clears throat> and there's several lines that we would want to add. Now, the first of which would be Android uh, compile with Jack, and we say equals false. Now, the problem with this line is this, for one, will only affect the local module, and uh, it will only... Um, only be called if the default is not set to something else. So what we need is the local uh, jack enabled oops, local jack enabled 
um, equals, uh, and this is going to seem kind of funny, but, but follow me here for a second. Default Jack enabled. And then we need to set the default Jack oops, enab enabled. Can't type today. Equals disabled. <clears throat> All right, so. Uh, what I've done here is I have three lines. The Android compile with Jack equals false, local Jack enabled, uh, default Jack is enabled, and default Jack enabled is disabled. So what this is doing is this uh, this is saying uh, we don't want to compile with Jack if we have that option, and we want to look at the local option, and we want that local option to be the same as the default option. That's why we have this dollar sign, so it's a variable. And then we need to set that default option to be disabled. And we set it to disabled instead of false because it actually has uh, several options. It's not a true or false. It has, I think it's a uh, um, full disabled uh, and I think there's a couple other ones about how you can increment different types of builds and so uh, so it doesn't just have a true or false option so you set the default jack to enable to be disabled um, I might have these in the wrong order let me put it this way I'm not sure if the order specifically matters. And the other thing is, I am not 100% sure. I may have to export this option instead of declaring it in the file. Um, but we'll give this a try real quick. Uh, the problem is we won't actually be able to see um, We won't actually be able to see this until uh, later on in the build when it starts using Jack. So we kind of just have to watch throughout the whole thing to see if it even used Jack or not, um, which unfortunately we won't have time to do here. But what I can't remember is if I just add this default Jack enabled here or if I actually take it and export it um, like we did with our uh, export use ninja. Where's our use ninja? Scroll back up here. Yeah, export use ninja equals false. So I think you can just export <coughs> uh, default underscore jack underscore enabled equals disabled uh, if uh, if calling it in the file like this didn't work. Now let's see, we got an error. <clears throat> okay, well this this error oh, interesting. Uh, something missing from this build for Jalebi uh, that I was trying to build here, <clears throat> but that's uh, that's not a consequence of what we're doing here. So uh, this would be the I believe the proper way to do this. Um, if you just put like some places online will just say oh just put this Android compile with Jack equals false, but that only disables it for that one make file, and then it only disables it. Uh, if the default is not set. So you need to set the local to be the default and the default to be disabled and then you can say hey when I want to build this I'm going to use compile with jack is false. And then you don't have to go to every file and change them all to be false because by default the jack will be disabled. So that's the way that should work and uh, 
I'm, I'm missing some files in here uh, for building what I'm trying to build but uh, but hopefully that was helpful um, that would be the way that you would disable and enable Jack and the way that you would disable and enable Ninja so hopefully uh, you found that interesting and hopefully that answers some of your questions out there um, and uh, don't forget if you don't want to do that to make sure you comment those out so you can go back to building <clears throat> actually I'll go ahead and make clean I want to make sure that this error is not being caused by what I just put in so let's see if it builds a little bit beforehand without having the jack uh, enabled somewhere in the back of my mind I, I hear an ACDC song coming on maybe those of you that are old enough you might remember that but I'll just leave that to your imagination and your YouTube searching uh, prowess to uh, to look into that further so no it knows this file is missing and it's not gonna let me do anything <coughs> Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, once again, I did mention before, disabling tools can also lead to problems, because I bet if we don't have Jack disabled, it's going to go ahead and build uh, everything just like it should. So let's take a look and see if that is the case. If that's the case, then this definitely did disable Jack, but like I said, you can run into problems because now something you need to have built isn't going to be built, or something you need to do isn't going to be done. Um, so yeah, so that did in fact disable Jack because then we got the error because it cannot complete doing what it needs to do without Jack. So in that case, for instance, <coughs> it says that it cannot build this without having Jack to be able to build it. So you would need to find another way to provide this classes.dex file for this ant how service intermediates classes.dex file. And uh, so that's something to consider. Disabling tools uh, can be good if you're having specific problems and you know how to work around them but it may also cause you more trouble in the end if you don't know how to solve the problem without using the tool. So like we saw building without Ninja it turned out to be okay at least for the small percentage of things we were building and uh, building without Jack we did disable it but it did not work very well after we disabled it. So something to think about and hopefully that was uh, helpful and insightful for you as well.